Good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I am your host, Toya, and today is December 20th, 2020. <laughs> so we got 2020, 20. <laughs> um, five days till Christmas. Um, I'm coming to you guys tonight. I'm recording this. It is 8.03 p.m. on Sunday. Um, today wasn't that cold outside. It was actually a pretty nice day out. Um, not too bad. Um, I noticed that I hadn't talked to you guys about herbs lately, at least not since the alfalfa video, which if um, you haven't seen the alfalfa video, I'll put it down at the bottom. So today I wanted to talk to you about this little guys. This is bee pollen. Okay. And this is a wonderful, wonderful herb. But before I get into it, I want to give my disclaimers because anytime you deal with herbs, you have to give disp disclaimers because you know, you don't want to get in trouble because they will come after you. So do not, um, sorry, this product is not intended for use by pregnant or nursing women. If you have a medical condition or are taking medication, consult your doctor prior to use discontinue use and consult with your physician if you have any adverse reactions. This product has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, and this product is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. So that's out the way. Also, I do want to note, because this is a product um, that is created by the bees, if you have any bee allergies, this is not the herb for you. Okay, so you have to be careful. So if you can't take honey, um, bee stings will kill you. You do not want to use this product, okay? Listen to me. You don't want to use it if that's the case. Um, also, if you're vegan, this, of course, is not something for you because this is, um, I know some vegans don't care about the honey. Some do. I don't know where you fall in. To me, it's, it's great. It helps with sinuses and things. That's what I use it for, but I use it. So let me tell you the story about how I found out about this. So some years ago, I ended up with this sinus infection and it was a really bad one. Okay. Um, I woke up that morning, got the kids ready for school and I was on my way to work. And I just noticed that it, it was getting worse as you know, time was going by. And so by the time I got to work, my nose was swollen and part of my face was swollen and I was hurting. And I'm like, okay, well, let me call the doctor, see if they can get me in. So I called the doctor, he got me in, um, turns out it was a sinus infection. It was really bad. But by the time I got to the doctor's office, this part of my face was swollen. All of this half was swollen and my nose was swollen so bad that it split in three spots, like here, here, and then across here three spots. And I asked the doctor, I said, okay, after he gave me the shot to, you know, the um, antibiotic shot, pain relieving shot, whatever it was, he gave me that, gave me my prescription for antibiotics um, to get rid of the sinus infection. And I asked him, I said, how do I prevent this? Because this is never happening to me again. This whole face swelling and this getting this bad is never happening to me again. So how do I prevent this? His response was, well, next time you get a sinus infection, don't wait so long. Just come in and I'll give you some antibiotics. That didn't work for me. So I looked it up and I found two things. One is this little beauty right here. And the second was echinacea. So echinacea is an immune booster. So it actually helps boost your immune system. But I can get into that with a different video. Um, but you pair it with the bee pollen. And I swear it's like magic. I get people hooked on this because I used to keep some at my desk back when we used to work in the office. I would keep some in my desk because sometimes the air conditioning or, you know, the particles flat floating around with the heat and stuff on and people coughing around you, my sinuses will start acting up. And the second that it started doing that, I would take this, well, I'll pull this stuff out. And so I would get people that would come to me, hey, Toy, you got some sinus medicine? No, I don't. <laughs> it's me. So, I mean, granted years ago, years ago, I, I was into that and I would have medicine and things like that, but I never liked taking medicine. I've never liked it. Um, but in any case, I, I always had to be pollen and I would give them some. I'm like, you're not allergic to any bee products, are you? They like, no. I said, okay, well here, you can take some of this. It'll dry them sinuses up and they will come back and like, oh my God, I can breathe. I can breathe. What is it you gave me? <laughs> and I would tell them all the time, bee pollen. So bee pollen is collected by the um, bees so you have the, the female bees go around and they collect it from the male flowers and they're selective on which pollen that they they'll create so they basically gather the pollen up and it forms these granulates so 
almost all bee products are high with antibiotics. Okay, almost all of them, like regular honey, you can actually put on a cut. So let's say you were in a situation where you didn't have any Neosporin or anything like that, but there was some pure honey around, you could actually put the honey on your wound until you can get to some place where you can take care of it. And it it acts as an antibacterial. So um, some of the other properties with it is highly nutritious. So it has, I have my little notes to say <laughs> It has um, protein, carbs, lipids, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and antioxidants. And that's kind of what helps with the sinus infections, those antioxidants and the um, antibacterial part, the antibacterial properties of the bee pollen. It also helps protect from free radicals. Free radicals are which go in your body and they wreak havoc and they cause issues and sometimes diseases. So it helps to fight the free radicals, protect against the free radicals. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory and helps boost the immune system. And that's probably because of all the enzymes in it and the antioxidants. And um, again, do not use if you are allergic to bee products. I can't say that enough, okay? Um, but with the sinuses, which is why I always took it, it will dry those sinuses up. So if you have blockage in there or, you know, you feel you can, most people who've had sinus infections know what it feels like when it's coming on. And I even used to give this to the kids when they were younger. I think my oldest, my youngest son, him and I used to have hay fever all the time. And anytime it would come around that season, we would take bee pollen and echinacea. And it got to the point where I don't even know how many years had passed by and we just didn't need it anymore because we didn't get the hay fever anymore. And even still to this day, we don't get hay fever as bad. So, and I attribute that to the bee pollen and to the echinacea because we would take it every year when the hay, when the um, pollen and stuff will be floating around. Because when you breathe in the pollen, you trigger the antihistamine in your, in your body. And that's why you sneeze, you cough, your eyes are running. Um, that's what happens. When you ingest this, it does the exact opposite. It acts as that anti-inflammatory. So as a histamine, I'm sorry. It acts as a histamine to protect you from that. So really great stuff. I'm going to just show you real quick um, how I take it. Yeah, I got some water. <laughs> to make sure I had some water. Um, so you can sprinkle this on food. You can put it in your smoothies. Um, but it has a very distinct taste and I don't like it. So if you like it and you can take it, by all means, go for it. The easiest way I found to take it, and I've tried with different things, is to just take some, you pour it in your hand. Now, when you're first starting out, because I don't actually really need this, probably shouldn't be taking it this late either because it will give you energy. And that's because of all the nutrients in there. So it will contribute to giving you um, energy. So you would do like a dime size amount. So some <laughs> trying to show y'all without spilling it. Let me do like that. There you go. So can you see that? Well, anyway, I tried. But you would take like a down a dime size amount because you can work it up as you need it. So if you need more, you can take more. But start out with a small, small amount when you first take it. And then as you get accustomed to it, you'll know how much you need. So the way I do it is I take this amount, get me some water, put the water in my mouth pop this in and just swallow. So almost like you would a peel, except for instead of putting a peel in first, you put these in, you put the water in first and then you do this. Um, when you do it any other way, what happens is <laughs> it gets like on the side of your jaw, under your tongue, and then you end up with that taste. So very quickly, like I said, you put some water in your mouth, pop this in, swallow. So I'll show you. Done. <laughs> All of it went down. <laughs> so that's the best way to take it. Now, they do have extracts and they do have this in a capsule. Um, I only do the capsule if I'm out of town. So if I go somewhere and I need it, because sometimes I do have issues on the plane with my ears because your ear, nose, and throat are all connected. So if my sinuses are acting up and I have to get on the plane, 
I'll take someone um, just before I get out the car or something like that to help clear my sinuses. But then when I get to where I'm going, I try to find some place, some helpful place or something like that, that sells it. So, and then take it there. And sometimes when you get to that point, the only thing you can get are capsules, which if that's the case, then that's when I take it. But I don't like the capsules because you can't control how much you take. So because you can treat this like a food, um, not that you want to overdo it, but you can treat this like a food. So it will digest and it will go through your system in about an hour or two. If you need more, you can take more because you you will digest this. Um, you can control it. When you take the capsules, it's really no telling how much they put in there, uh, what fillers they use with it. You don't know any of that. And like I said, you can't really control how much you take and how much you're getting in. But with this, you can control it. So that's why I like the granulates. The extract, um, the company that I do sell herbs for called Pure Herbs, they do have one that's called 3Bs and bee pollen is part of that. And I will take that sometimes too if you know I'm having sinus and sinus issues or something like that or a cold, I'll include that in what I take, you know, Usually the three B's, um, echinacea, and maybe something like elderberry or something like that, and I'm good. So, but this, this little beauty, you have sinus issues and you're not allergic to bee products. Yes, I said it again. No bee products. If you're allergic to bee products, do not use this. But if that's not you, you have sinus issues, I'm telling you, this stuff is magic. And like I said, you start out with a small amount and you can just increase it as you go. Um, and again, I like the granulates because you can control how much you take. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, Christmas is coming up. I believe it is Thursday. So I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, you got something out of it, please like, subscribe, and share. You know, share the wealth of knowledge, which is what I'm doing with you guys right now. But have a wonderful Christmas, Hanukkah. Um, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate, I want you to enjoy it. Have a good time and celebrate it because this 2020 has been something else and we need to celebrate it, throw it a big party. So when it leaves, it's gone and we can continue on and hope for better things. Like hopefully 2021 will be better for everybody. But you know, I will say this though, 2020 has been a very, very good learning experience. It, it allowed me to grow as a person and it allowed me to see the things that I truly value. And I hope that you got something out of the lesson of 2020 as well, that you learn things out of this that, you know, help you grow and become a better person. Um, that might actually be what my video is for next week because New Year's is coming up um, after Christmas. So that might be what I do next, next time is, you know, just kind of like discuss the growth and changes of 2020. But then again, I hope you liked the video and enjoyed it. If you did, please again, like, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you guys next time. Love you all. Have a wonderful holiday.